You know who it is everybody, I'm back once again with another hair tutorial. Today I am bringing you the much awaited tutorial on how I achieve this quick weave with no leave out. For this style, I am using Organique's Maui Curl. This comes with three bundles and they are 18, 20, and 22 inches. For this style, you'll need a wig cap, hair glue, and this protective shield, which I will link in the description box below. So I'm starting with freshly washed and stretched hair. So you can see I have my two pigtails. All right, so first I'm gonna cornrow my hair and I'm gonna have the front section and the back section. So I'm taking my bundle and I just cut off a small piece at a time of the track. This is the 18 inch track by the way, so I'm starting with the shortest hair. And this hair is gonna be used for the front perimeter of my head. So I'm cutting a small piece of track and I'm cutting off the weft and pulling out this excess hair at the top. And this hair is what we're gonna use as kind of our fake leave out. So I'm going to take this hair and cornrow it into the front. And here you'll see I've already started. So I have kind of larger cornrows on the sides with the two strands of hair. And then as we get closer to the middle, the braids are slightly smaller and I'm using three strands to give myself more coverage where my hairline will be most exposed. All right, so first I'm going to show you one of the larger cornrows that I'm doing on the side and I'm gonna take two strands of the hair, place it on either side of the braid to start. And I'm using my mouth to hold the ends of the hair so they don't slide out. If you know how to cornrow then <laughs> this is helpful. If not, I'm gonna try to do a no cornrow method at some point. But for now, if you know how to cornrow, you're basically cornrowing the hair in in reverse. And here I'll give you a closer look. This is me doing one of the middle braids. So the braids are gonna be slightly smaller and I'm going to be using three pieces of hair versus two. And so I'm adding a piece of hair to each strand of hair in the braid. And there you are. It doesn't look too good right now, but don't worry, because we're gonna come back and we're gonna fix that. All right, now that the front is completed, I'm gonna do even larger braids in the back. And I'm just braiding those front braids into these larger braids in the back. It does not have to be perfect, because you're not gonna see any of this at all. Here's how the back looks. And I'm gonna take this braid in the back and just tuck it wherever it'll give me the flattest foundation. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna put on the wig cap. Make sure when you put on the wig cap that that front hair is hanging forward and out of the way. One thing I didn't do, but I would do the next time around is if you have like a white eye pencil or something, just mark off exactly where your hairline is because you don't wanna get any of the protective shield or the glue on that hair in the front because it'll make it crunchy and give you problems later. So you wanna just kinda mark exactly where you wanna stop with the glue. And here I'm cutting my ears out so I can make sure the wig cap is laying flat to my head on each side. And now I'm gonna apply the protective shield. As you can see, I already have it running too far forward. It's getting on that hair in the front. My fake leave out, if you will. So that was a mistake, but lesson learned. This does, this will run down your hair, so keep that in mind. And I would really suggest starting more in the middle of your head and brushing out from there to prevent this from happening. So I'm putting layer after layer of this stuff on my hair because I really want to make sure it's nice and protected. A lot of people I see use two wig caps, which would definitely give you more protection, but I'm just doing one. But you want to keep adding the protective shield and you'll see the holes in the, um, in the cap start to fill in. From there you'll take a blow dryer. Here I am fake blow drying my hair because I had to do it in the bathroom, but just blow dry it until it's dry. And now we're gonna add our bundle. So we're taking our longest bundle first and starting at the nape of the neck, I'm going to glue the pieces in. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just measure it to the length that you want, cut it, apply the hair glue and then stick it to your head. A lot of people blow dry it afterwards or my mom actually used to put a, a curling iron to it. Um, I don't do any of that. I let it dry a little bit after I add the glue and then I just stick it on there and it, it stays. Another thing you want to make sure you do is put the tracks um, kind of close together, especially as you reach the top. You want to make sure you don't have any gaps and no tracks exposed because you don't have any leave out to cover it. And as you continue up, you're going to start to get a U shape. And once you get to about here, I'd say about a couple inches in, or when you have a, about a couple inches of space left, you're gonna start laying the tracks across. And I wanna show you guys how to do that. And notice I'm laying these tracks at kind of an angle. And that'll help with hiding the tracks also. And once I get to this tiny little section, I'm gonna do a few more tiny tracks facing forward.
And now that that's done, I'm gonna cut away the excess wig cap all the way around the perimeter of my head. All right, and here is how we're looking so far. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this section by section. So I'm sectioning off that front hair. And you can even include some of the hair from the tracks if you want. For example, if you have gaps between the braids, you may wanna pull some hair from the tracks up to the front also. Then I'm gonna take some scissors and trim just a little bit of hair. You're really just rubbing the blade against the um, the hair just to give you some kind of like fake baby hair. So I'm chopping just a little bit of hair at a time, back combing it, and you just wanna keep doing this until you feel like you have a nice, natural looking leave out situation. You're just blurring those lines between the cornrows. And here's kind of a before and after look. And I'm gonna continue on to the other side. And finally, I'm gonna start to separate some of the curls. So I'm sectioning off the hair again and just separating the curls throughout to give it more of a natural look. We don't want the curls to be too uniform. And here's our finished look. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And until next time, you wanna say it? Peace. Say, say peace. No? Peace. <laughs>